here's what we're talking about today, my friends. And, and then I'm going to tell you why. We are talking about kindness and chivalry today. And let me tell you why we're talking about kindness, kindness, kindness and chivalry. This has come up for me a few times in the past few weeks. Okay. And it's got my, my, got my thoughts of thinking. And I've determined that I think I'm in the minority on this one. And I like to, I like to think I know what's going on. I'm down with the times. I'm, I'm up with things. But I've, I've determined I'm pretty old school when it comes to chivalry and being kind to one another. Okay. And I feel like it's a dying art, and it's kind of pissing me off. So, okay, I have a, I have a clarifying question on this. Okay. When you're in the minority, you mean in the minority in the sense that you appreciate chivalry or in the minority in that you think it was dying and want it to come back and you're not seeing it i think i'm in the minority that appre- both okay. i think i'm in the inor- minority that appreciates it okay and i think a lot of people agree i think most people would agree it's dying yes i want to see it come back Agreed. and i think i'm in the minority that it's gonna okay well then we both are okay we had a, a minority ta- we're at the minority table here but here's what you know here's what's been interesting with this whole thing is and i'll tell you a couple examples that it that started it um the the most recent was just this sunday where i had gone a little overzealous trip to the home depot you know you go to the home depot to buy i went to buy a hose i needed a hose and one of the little windy up things you put the hose on okay that was not a totally hose fine in your car there was in the no, back of your no, car. I saw no, your, it was not. I saw your ID. That's the problem. So <laughs> I went to Home Depot. I was like, I need to buy a hose because there was a lot of pollen. I have really bad allergies. I'm still <laughs> all a puff. But it's, I went to Home Depot. I was like, going to go buy a hose. Yes. And then I was like, oh, look at this deck box. This would be fantastic for my deck to put the cushions in to keep right. the pollen off. Yep. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to buy a deck box. Well, I drive a very small car. Fortunately, it's convertible, so the top can come down. So that's what happened is <laughs> I bought some very large boxes. And I shop at Home Depot a lot. I, I will shout out to Home Depot. Every time I've been there, and my friends tease, my guy friends tease me about this, I, everybody comes to help. They always help me load stuff in the car. People are always helping me find things. Like customers are helping me too. People are very chivalrous at Home Depot. But then I got home. Like the guy, it took two people. We loaded it in the car. They were super nice. Then I get home. And I'm trying, now my neighbors, now I will say I did not ask for help. My neighbors were super, super nice. They are awesome. They would have totally come help me, but none of them were home. So I am pulling this box that is bigger than me out of the backseat of my car. I could do it. I'm kind of strong, but it was, it was hard. It was, it was maneuvering it. I was definitely struggling and it was funny. I wasn't going to get injured, but it was funny. Me trying to do this. Three different people walked by walked by and didn't in my neighborhood anything. and just kind of stared and didn't stop and didn't offer to help or didn't so i don't know that that's kindness or chivalry that's why i'm rolling it all together because seriously i mean i know i didn't know them and i didn't ask because i wouldn't because i didn't know them but come on now i mean we were at the airport last week flying back from lauderdale and i had my daughter with me the the little one sassy and Sassy was with me, and there was this older lady in front of us. It had to be in her 80s, and she had to put the suitcase on the conveyor belt. And I was like, and she was struggling, and I said, we, and Kennedy just looks at me, she goes, we need to help her. I said, well, let's ask. So we asked. I always ask. I don't just For assume. Sure. I said, would you like any help? She goes, no, I've got it. And then she tried, and then she turned around and looked at us. She goes, yes, and it was sweet. <laughs> but we offered. I didn't yeah. know her. She didn't know us. I could yeah. have just let her sit there. And so that was kind of what I started thinking. So I thought of it as chivalry, maybe because I'm a female, and that's how I think, and I'm old school. But let's talk about kindness for a minute, because that might have been just more kindness. If you see somebody struggling, help them. Is it that freaking hard? Yeah. Like, is it really? Yeah. And I like that you called out that you ask. I did ask. Because some people, I mean, they do. They just want to do it on their own, and that's really cool. But at least you offer that helping hand of, Yep. looks like it's really heavy, Yep. Not that, you know, you, because sometimes it's just that it's something's bulky and you just need two people to yeah. load something in and out or. Well, but it also could be, I mean, it could be anything. It could be yeah. lifting stuff. It could, and this is where kind of kindness and chivalry, like the definition of kindness is just being nice, being polite, being, yeah. just doing things that you think would be, I don't know, nice. So have we lost the niceness in the world? I think we are not paying attention. 
not paying attention to what others are doing or what yes our surroundings and you see it and i'm going to be that person so you can at me like for one we're on our phones all the time that's true people are crossing the street look i don't it's true i don't trust drivers enough i know i had the right away if i'm cost, crossing the road at the right. appropriate time but right. i don't trust drivers to be paying attention and that's going to be my fault if i step out and you're not paying attention right when i should have been paying attention right. so it's like we're not even looking at our surroundings we're coming out we're taking a phone call we're on our phones we're looking everywhere else we're very distracted and so part of it is because we run into people all the time too that happens all the time where you're like bumping into someone or or yeah. coming around the corner and your buggies run into one another or whatever the case is